From major improvements along Swift Boulevard to a Hollywood crew in our backyard. These stories and so much more coming up next on Richland Now. Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Richland Now. I'm Gail Everett. The city's vision to transform downtown Richland into a vibrant, active center of city life continues with a street improvement project along Swift Boulevard. The improvement project will add bicycle lanes, on-street parking, landscaping, and enhanced pedestrian treatments. Contract crews will begin underground utility work by the end of November. At this time, the southeast-bound lane of Swift Boulevard will be closed or partially closed. Contract crews will continue work on the project through June 2019. During construction, commuters are encouraged to explore alternative routes and avoid the construction area as much as possible. More information on the project is available on the city's webpage by using the link below. Lights camera, action. This was reality for several water and wastewater employees who participated in filming a video for our water treatment process vendor, Myox. That is spelled M-I-O-X if you're interested in Googling it. Their goal was to film the unique aspects of Richland's municipal water, the community, and our experience utilizing Myox technology as it is integrated as part of our entire water and wastewater process here in Richland. Pat Everham, Mike Coleman, and Dave Trotter were interviewed for the program. We will let you know when the video is complete. A special thanks to all of the wastewater and water staff for representing Richland. The shrub step surrounding the Badger Mountain Flats Trail was enhanced thanks to 100 students and several volunteers. Fifth grade students from Robert Frost Elementary in Pasco spent the morning planting 100 sagebrush plants during their field trip. The students grow the plants as fourth graders in the spring and then return as fifth graders and plant them during their fall field trip. Teachers say the planting is important as the shrub step habitat is imperiled due to noxious weed competition, fire and minimized footprint. This is the second year that students from Robert Frost Elementary have participated in a planting project. Last year they replanted sagebrush in the burnt hillside of Candy Mountain. The Academy of Children's Theater is fundraising for a trip to Gettysburg. They want to send the cast and crew of their upcoming production, Keeping Mr. Lincoln, to a children's theater festival in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania next June. They're holding a fabric and costume rummage sale on November 17th from 4 to 6 at ACT, which is located at 213 Welshian Way. Fabric bags and costumes will be sold for five or ten dollars. In addition, a holiday plant sale is also in progress in support of the travel opportunity. Keeping Mr. Lincoln will perform locally in February. The talented students at Hanford High School encourage you to come out and enjoy their latest theatrical performance. Enjoy their presentation of A Midsummer Night's Dream in the romantic, mystical Caribbean style with the original music and marvelous costumes. The drama portrays the events surrounding four young lovers and a group of six amateur actors who are controlled and manipulated by the fairies who inhabit the forest in which most of the play is set in. Watch the play November 14th, 16th, and 17th at 7.30 at the Hanford High School Black Box Theater. Tickets cost $10 for students and seniors and only $12 for adults. The hardworking and artistic folks at the Richland Players Theater are excited to present their next drama to the community. Vanities is a bittersweet comedy that is an astute snapshot chronicle of the lives of three Texas girls. In 1963, they were aggressively vivacious cheerleaders. Five years later, in their college sorority house, they are confronting their futures with nervous jauntiness. As they age, old-time banter rings false, and their attempts at honest conversation only show they can no longer afford to have very much in common. Watch Vanities November 16th and 17th at 8 p.m. at the iconic Richland Players Theater. Well, we are nearing the busiest shopping weekend of the entire year, and nestled between Black Friday and Cyber Monday is Small Business Saturday. The City of Richland is promoting a Passport to Business program which encourages citizens to shop small on Saturday, November 24th from 10 to 4. 
This exciting event features over 40 small businesses located in the business districts at the Richland Parkway and the Uptown Shopping Center. You can pick up your passport and shopping bags at the Caterpillar Cafe or Encore Wellness. Visit at least 10 of the participating businesses and return your passport for a chance to win over $1,000 in exciting prizes. If you've traveled past John Dan Plaza, then I'm sure you've noticed it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Crews have been hard at work getting the plaza ready for the annual Hapo Winter Wonderland Festival of Lights. We invite you to join us for the most beautiful tree, park and stage holiday lighting show Friday, November 30th from 5 to 7. Follow the crowds to Howard Amon Park and watch the annual lighted boat parade with Santa by the warming fire. The beautiful light and music show at John Dan Plaza will run every night in December from 5.30 to 10 p.m. Open space, trails, family-friendly outdoor activities, all are commonly listed as positive contributions to quality of life. There are a number of well-known places in and around the Tri-Cities to hike and recreate. Yet there are many more that are not familiar even to longtime residents, including the Taptill Greenway. Discover these amazing places by attending a lecture put on by volunteers with the Tap Teal Greenway Association titled Exploring Local Treasures Along the Tap Teal Greenway. The lecture is November 15th from 7 to 8 p.m. at the Richland Public Library. Well, the next installment in the popular Richland Walks curriculum is coming up. Grab your friends and enjoy a volunteer-led walk for a conversation about and a good look at some of Richland's public art. The walk will include a discussion regarding what art is and how it enriches our lives. The public art walk is free and scheduled for Sunday, November 18th from 1 to 3 p.m. Meet at the Richland Community Center. Beginning November 1st, the Horn Rapids Landfill started operation under their winter hours. This means they are open Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and closed on Sundays and city-observed holidays. They will operate under winter hours until February 28th. Speaking of city holidays, all city facilities will be closed on Thursday and Friday, November 22nd and 23rd in observance of Thanksgiving. Normal garbage collection will occur during the holidays. Thank you so much for joining me on this edition of Richland Now. If you would like more information on a program or project happening in the city of Richland, I encourage you to visit our webpage at the link below. And don't forget, we are where you are. Find the City of Richland on all of the popular social media platforms. We're on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm Gail Everett. Thanks for joining me on this edition of Richland Now.